Hiya! Hello, Winterworms, and welcome back to Let's Play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. My name's Skinny Minnie. And I'm Inferno. Last episode, um, we got to talk to a little bit more about the town, and we talked to uh, Dorothy, and she said that um, she works for uh, the master, which is Mr. Anderson in the town. Um, his daughter pretty much wants to run away, and the staff is encouraging it, but the the dad's like, no, don't do it. Well, so, he, do he doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know. But he frets he all the know. time about his daughter. So, we're just mm. being nosy and figuring out stuff about the about the town. We found this little farm. It's cute. And we solved we some puzzles. We also talked to this guy. You talk we also to talked to this guy. Yeah. He and he told us about a mystery phantom town. Which you know we're probably going to pass on the train ride, so that'll be fun. <laughs> um... Oh, we can't go forward? Oh, okay. Choo choo! <laughs> Whoa. Wow, wee! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh! Uh, look at the size of that mansion! I bet you could get lost in there! It's, it is impressive, to say the least. I'm sure that massive ma manor began belonged to Mr. Anderson. So that's where Inspector Chelmy and his assistant went, right? I'd like to see this place myself. Can we go take a look? No. For now, I think I think our best course of action is to gather what information we can in the village. Besides, I imagine the Andersons have their hands full of the two get they, cur they currently have. That's true. Help, sir? <laughs> I don't really trust little little huts slash ha um, houses near a lake, you know, That's after kinda... that, uh... Mmm, Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah. I'm so traumatized. <laughs> Erg. My name's Gabe. Whew. That should do it. Good afternoon. What are you doing there, sir? Me? Oh, I'm just uh, doing a little fishing here in this lake here. Sounds like a lot of work. Have you had much luck? Actually, that's a good question. Now that I think about it. How many have I managed to catch today? Oh boy. Well, if the bucket isn't empty, then I guess you did something. Right? You've cast a large net in a pond to catch some fish. Every part of the net is in the water, except for the two ends, which you're holding in your hands. Uh, as shown below, the pond surface is small, but it's actually wider underwater, so parts of your sunken net aren't visible from the surface. Assuming there are no tears in the net and it's and that its rim is constructed of a single length of rope that ends on the shore. How many of the fish visible in the pond will you snare up when you pull the net back up? Oh. Alright, well, this is where our memo is going to be extremely helpful. Okay. All of them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Ow. Okay, uh, so let's see. Oh. You didn't turn on the memo. I thought I did. <laughs> uh, oh. What? Oh well, no, you're you're still you're still correct. Oh. That uh, loop doesn't actually. It doesn't have mean a loop. Anything. But which one? Well, it looks like it kind of goes all the way to the top, right? If you need to, you can back out of the memo. Clearly, yeah, it looks like it going to that one all the way up there. Up here. That little loop. Yeah. So that's not much. Um, let me see. Okay, wait. Um. So here. Because I think we had to connect all of the, all of the net actually. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Ah. Wait. Huh? What? This is a weird as net. <laughs> oh, that looks really confusing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. One. <laughs> If it helps, you can actually just maybe just try filling in the. Yeah. Okay. And then like stop when you see a fishy. Okay. Uh. Eh. It doesn't seem like we catch that much fish. This looks like a really terrible net. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. We got a big one there. Big boy. Big boy. Okay. 
Uh, Let's... One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I, I think you one? missed one. I think you missed one seven. in like the middle. There it is. Yeah. I think it's seven. It looks like seven. Okay. <laughs> from as much as I can see from a tiny, tiny DS screen. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Let's see if this works. Yes! Woo. That was smart. Maybe just just coloring it in was so much today. easier. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> there we go. Yep. This net looked atrocious. It, yeah, that's a terrible net. Woohoo! What a haul! Tonight I feast like a king! Sure. Also, work on leg day. <laughs> no! Oh, dang it. Well, but if you really just lent is tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'm giving up sugar, which is gonna be so hard for me. How are you gonna just give up sugar? Yeah. 90% of the. Your body needs sugar. Yeah, but I like... can. I have to condense it. I, I think I think like the better term to say is added sugar. Yeah. Because there we like go. you kind of can't avoid sugar. Because it's in honestly it's in everything nowadays. It, it's in everything. Well, no, I mean it's in everything, and your body, your blood cells need glucose. Yeah. I, and that's and the, sugar. Yeah. Because if I just straight up stop, I'm trying to go on this new diet. <laughs> anyway, I'm just we'll worry about this later. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about my personal stuff right here. <laughs> is it that's not slow? important. Oh. oh? Hi, man in red. Mr. Anderson, maybe? Oh my god, nope. please be Remy. You want me to be Remy? Yes. Wait, what kind of voice is Wait. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, Professor, I think this fellow here fell asleep standing up. Judging by his uniform, he must be a security guard. I wonder how his employer feels about his nap. Mmm, mm -hmm. secure. Please confirm my identity by solving this. I'm sorry. What? You're giving us a puzzle while you're asleep, sir? I don't think that's uh, okay. All right. Okay. Tangled rope. How about we just back out of the puzzle? <laughs> right. I'm just like walk away. Just walk. Uh, three rope loops are tangled together with a single red rope. If you were to pull both ends of the rope, a single knot will form in the middle. Can you figure out how many of the rope loops would get caught in this knot when it forms? Remember, even if a loop appears to have been pulled into the knot, you shouldn't count it in your answer if you pull the loop free of the red rope with a tug. Okay. What? Hey, <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I just straight up spit. Ugh. Okay, so if we pull this... It's so hard to do it without having it. Yeah. This is honestly another one of the visualizing puzzles, of course. It's feel... kinda hard to actually solve it with, like... Okay, so by the way the yellow one is constructed, I don't, I, I don't, sorry, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Um, okay. Okay, because I'm like leaning over so I can see, and my microphone's like higher, so I'm <laughs> like, ugh. I don't think, I think the yellow one probably would be fine. It's not going to form a knot, it may, honestly, it may just fall off. Um. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, because it's not really entangled much. Yeah. They don't, because they're not really looping in each other. At least the light blue, the green, and the yellow. Yeah. So, because in order to not, it has to cross within itself, and it, and these don't. Looking at the uh, red knot, it doesn't even, like, it can form, like, this knot, and so basically anything that's not caught in that little knot will just... Like, just be on the red rope or fall off. Yeah, it... So if we pull this, it'll only form one knot in the middle, and it's the red one, because of mm -hmm. this. So mm -hmm. how many, how many of the rope loops would get caught? Oh, none of them. So it would be zero. Let's try it. Okay. Settle. This should do the trick. Yes. Uh, this reminds me of like cleaning the basement. 
I always fix the wires, mm -hmm. and somehow they get more tangled because no one in my house wants to be nice to me. No, no, no. Oh, here we go. Yeah. When you yep. pull it, and it, yay! Okay, sweet. Cool. Woo! Great answer confirmed. Well done, sir. <laughs> He must be some kind of mad puzzle, puzzle genius to be able to talk about them in his sleep. <laughs> Layden, do you feel challenged? Right? He's like, oh no. Yeah. He just starts falling asleep right there just to <laughs> challenge him. Like, alright, Layden. Yeah. Two can play this game. Uh. We're gonna talk to Chelmy as much as I don't want to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cause it's... Fine. Gotta remember how to speak. Oh, wait. Is he back here? Yeah, right there. Oh, jeez. Uh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> he thought you were trying to leave and he... Get yeah. your butt back here! Oh, it's Inspector Chelmy! Well, look who it is. Hello, Inspector. Are you returning from the Anderson Estate? <laughs> I don't know where you got your information, Layden. But you're a sly of the fox. As a matter of fact, I was just there. But the servant said Mr. Anderson himself wasn't home. They said the bloke is off presiding over some livestock competition. A likely story, I'm sure. I'm curious, what connection do you see between Mr. Anderson and the case you're investigating? Not that it's any of your business, but perhaps you can be a you can be of help. I'd heard rumored the bloke had tried to find the Elysian box in the past, so I went to talk to him. But when I got to the house, his butler told me he wasn't home and that I should leave. Can you believe it? <laughs> I bet you get a ten- I bet you get a tenor for- Oh, wait, what? Tenor? Yeah, I'm reading that, right? Mm -hmm. I bet you a I bet you a tenor he was just pretending to be out. I went out of my way to see the man. The least he could do is offer me a proper cup of coffee. But why would Mr. Anderson be interested in the Elysian box in the first place? It's anyone's guess, Luke. We, we won't know until we can ask him in person. I guess we better head over to that livestock competition that An Mr. Anderson is judging. <laughs> Fine. Let the blasted bloke judge his precious livestock competition then. I won't be there. As far as I'm concerned, the whole thing a frivolous distraction for the rich. Speaking of which, I can only assume his obsession with the box stemmed from the excess of time and money on his hand. If you see anything that might help this investigation, report it to me straight away, you hear. We are always happy to cooperate, Inspector. Now please excuse us. Sure, off you go. He's he not yelling, so I'm not yelling. <laughs> yeah. Come along, Barden. We got work to do. Hmm. Okie dokie, sir. Alright, so we better hurry back to the competition grounds. The Professor, Luke, and Flora decide to return to the site of the livestock competition. Actually, I think Barden's voice is like, oh, Yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> He's like a little peppy. Oh boy. Is he like Meekins? Mmm, more competent. <laughs> yeah. Have we talked to this person? I don't think so. Hello? Uh. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm in a tight spot. I wanted to make a clean cut in this board, but I botched it kinda bad. It's pretty much useless as is. Can you think of a way to turn the pieces into a solid square? Yeah, cut it even more and turn it into a square. <laughs> there you go. No uh, here we have an oddly shaped board. Um, since the board is rather unwidely as is, you decided to cut into two pieces and rejoin these pieces to form a square. Assuming you aren't allowed to flip either of the pieces over once the board is cut, where should you cut? make the cut in order to achieve the above? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um... Hmm. Memo time. 
It'll help us figure it out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so we have to make this whole thing a box? Yep. So we have to take something from here because there's a space here. So that yeah. is clearly... Hmm... If I flip this... Because this... Oh. And then... Huh. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> oh. Because, like, to take those four pieces and yeah. then shimmy them one right down... Right. I think you got it. Oh, yeah, because it just, like... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, sweet. How did you get the board to look like this? That's that's a good question. I'm like, well, first of all, why you put a hole in it? Got a quid. Okay, yeah, because I I was like, that space is kind of weird, but I'm like, if you move that down, yeah. So we only just, have to do two uh, cuts. Uh, uh, there you go. So, eh. and like that. Yep. Sweet. Look through it. This should do the trick. Well, simple enough. Yay! That wasn't that hard. Huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, okay, yeah, you just cut that and just... Hup! Cool. Sweet. Woohoo! That did the trick. Thanks, now we can finally get back to building that shed. We got a screw part. Oh. Woo! Wait, One! Bo bo one. Dang it, Let's Randy. try talking to him again. Oh, jeez. I knew it! Oh, hi there. I've got another board problem on my hands. Here's the shape I'm going for this time. <laughs> oh. Of course. It's magic. <laughs> oh, Superman. Well, yet we here we have yet another inconvenient shape board. This one's even more unwisely than the last, so you need to cut it into two pieces that you can assemble to form a rectangle. Assuming you aren't allowed to flip either of the pieces, once the board is cut, where should you cut in order to achieve the above? Memo. Um. Hmm. I feel hmm. like we just. I feel like we just move it down again. No, I think the. I think like what we're gonna do. We're gonna like take like, if we like kind of cut it in a semi half. Not exactly, but like. I'm still trying to figure out the kinks to this, but um, if we cut it in like kind of half. We can kind of fill in the S's, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, like, I see. So not not like this necessarily, but like something along those lines. Like yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. The, we need something to fill in that little uh, the little notch here in that E. Like no, like on the bottom, like the part that forms the S or five, oh. depending on how you're looking at this. <laughs> five. Well, it's definitely better than that one vibe you drew! Oh gosh, yes, that was funny. So, I wonder... Hold on. So, if we're not cutting this way, what if I cut here and cut on the opposite of this one, like here? No, no, that's not... No, here, that's a bit too much. In here? Let's see. Because then... If you move that little piece in the middle, right, and then the four will take care of the other four. Oh, see, I think and you put this on top of it, and then it should yeah. fit like a glove. Yeah, they're yeah they're yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there. For those who there. think that I've like solved these puzzles already, I obviously forgot the answer, so I had to just <laughs> resolve them in my head. <laughs> you did a really good job, though. Some of them I remember on the spot, and some of them I just like. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks about right. So here and here. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. This should do the trick. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, oh ah, please. Wonderful. <laughs> Woo. Wee! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. Because I was looking at it straight up and down instead of sideways, even though it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, that was actually pretty neat. Cool. I don't know how the hell that you got like a S. S, yeah. You're really something else. You're something amazing. I thought I had to scrape with this board, but now I can use it to build my shed. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go for it. Um, yeah, we'll go to the livestock competition and then we'll end the episode. Oh my goodness, look at this place. Ooh, we made it back in time to see the catch the competition. If we'd been informed correctly, Major Henderson is judging the entry. So he should be ar somewhere around here, right? Indeed. I wonder which of the gentlemen walking around here is- Man, is that gonna be a puzzle? Uh-oh, it looks like the two men over there are getting pretty hot under the collar about something. I wonder what the matter is. Oh jeez. Um, how about we find out in the next episode? <laughs> <laughs> We'll let them squabble it out. We solved enough puzzles today in this episode. So, um, thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Much love. Bye. Bye-o.